Hi, this is Tutor Nick P, and this is Word Origins 46. The word origin today is Siamese twins. Okay, let's take a look at the note here. Uh, this is a more informal term for conjoined twins. So sometimes today, if you see an article about it, you know, especially uh, in like in a medical magazine, they might more likely still say conjoined twins. But you do hear Siamese twins. That's how most people know it. If they actually seen somebody like this, they say, oh, Siamese twins is the first thing they usually think of. But the more formal name is conjoined twins. Okay, let's continue. Uh, so conjoined twins or Siamese twins are inextricably linked or inseparable. Yeah, they can separate more today than they used to be able to, but it really depends upon where they're connected. If they're connected on the hip, I think there's a better chance. Uh, we've seen, you know, several years ago, I remember there, was, there were those twins in Iran that were connected with their heads. Uh, that didn't work out well. They tried to separate them both, and the operation actually killed them. So, um, it depends on where you're joined, and, you know, whether, you know, what, what organs you're sharing, whether it's possible to, do, to try to separate so you can have a more of a normal sort of a life. Well, let's continue here. The term Siamese twins came from an actual pair of twins, Chong and Eng Bunker, okay? They were born in Siam, uh, the old name for Thailand. So Thailand at one time used to be called Siam. You know, if you've ever seen the old uh, films or uh, the old um, play or movie, you know, The King and I, that was also Siam at that time, okay? That is where the term Siamese twins comes from because it was from Thailand, so they were Siamese, because they were from Thailand, and the old name of Thailand was Siam. Okay, good. Let's continue. Uh, they actually had Chinese parents, so this is kind of ironic. They're known as the Siamese twins, but their, their actual background nationality is Chinese. Uh, so in Thailand, they were known as the Chinese twins. So in Thailand, they didn't call them the Siamese twins, they called them the Chinese twins. Uh, this pair of Siamese twins were the first to become uh, internationally famous. So the first pair of, you know, conjoined or Siamese twins that people started to know about or learn about was this pair. So that's why, you know, Siamese twins, that term held for a long time. Um, all right, so, so, so the pair of Siamese twins were the first to become internationally famous due to Rupert Hunter, an entrepreneur, businessman, who arranged for them to travel in a circus freak show. All right, so this is how they started to make their money originally when they were younger. I think, I think that was actually in England. Uh, in the show, they were known as the United Brothers. Okay. Uh, then they made a certain amount of money, and I, I think they actually moved to the U.S. In 1839, they settled in Carolina. I'm not sure today whether it's North Carolina or South Carolina, but they settled in Carolina and married local sisters. Yeah, uh, I think there's been a few cases of conjoined twins actually marrying sisters. Uh, yes, and had 22 children. So I don't know how much privacy they had. Uh, when you have conjoined twins, obviously everybody sees everything. Uh, but, you know, hey, they, they enjoyed themselves. They had 22 children. You know, this is far more than anybody has today. This is like five, six families today. Uh, and actually had become uh, slave owners. Yeah, they, they bought like a plantation uh, in the Carolinas, so they needed slaves to help work the plantation. Then I think once they had all their children, though, they still had some money troubles after that. That's a lot of children to raise. That's a lot of money. Even in 1839, that's a lot of money. So I think they actually had to join the circus again in the U.S., uh, to, you know, uh, to, to supplement their income, to pay for everything. Anyway, uh, so that's why Siamese twins uh, got to be known, you know, as an informal name for conjoined twins. Okay, anyway, I hope you got it. I hope it was clear. I hope it was informative. Thank you for your time. Bye-bye.